What is the most anticipated vehicle ever? If you say the Tesla Cybertruck, you are not wrong, as Tesla is sitting on millions of pre-orders for the electric pickup truck. If you are also eagerly awaiting this fantastic monster truck, we bring you in this video all the latest details leaked about the Cybertruck. Whichever way you look at it, the Cybertruck is not your ordinary pickup truck. It is a radical departure from the conventional design and features of most trucks on the market today. It is a futuristic vehicle that challenges the norms and expectations of what a truck can be. As the truck gets closer to production, a lot has been leaked by eager Tesla fans who can't wait to get the truck in their hands. Even Tesla itself has been fueling the excitement, releasing videos that showcase some of the pickup truck's exciting features. One such feature was revealed in a video posted on Tesla's official Twitter page. It displays a robot that simulates repeated sitting in a seat. Named the Butt Robot by some enthusiasts, this device is crafted to evaluate the seat's durability and comfort, subjecting them to 50,000 simulated seating actions, equivalent to about 10 years of normal use. The seats that the robot is testing are believed to be those from the Cybertruck, as they match the design and color scheme of the prototype that was unveiled in 2019. The seats are black with white stitching and have a futuristic look that fits the Cybertruck's aesthetic. They also appear to have good side support, which is important for a vehicle that can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in as little as 2.9 seconds. The seats also have a fold-down armrest in the middle, which can be useful for long drives or as a storage space. Tesla has not revealed much information about the Cybertruck's interior since its debut, but it has hinted that it will be very different from its other vehicles. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, has said that the Cybertruck will have a maritime theme and that it will be able to float for a while. He has also said that the Cybertruck will have a cyberpunk vibe and that it will be inspired by sci-fi movies like Blade Runner and The Matrix. He has also teased that the Cybertruck will have some game-changing features that will surprise everyone. Building on the intrigue surrounding the Cybertruck's unique features, many have also questioned the design of specific parts, such as the tires. If you have wondered what the tires on the Cybertruck look like, a recently released picture gives us more details than we ever had about that part of the EV. One of the most striking features of the Cybertruck tires is their size. According to a close-up photo of the release candidate's wheel, the vehicle was equipped with 285-65 R20 tires. This means that the Cybertruck tires have a width of 285 mm, an aspect ratio of 65%, and a rim diameter of 20 inches. In other words, the Cybertruck tires are about 35 inches tall and 11 inches wide. This is a significant increase from the original prototype that was unveiled in 2019, which had 275-55 R20 tires. It is also larger than most of the conventional pickup trucks on the market, such as the Ford F150, which has a standard tire size of 31 inches tall and 10 inches wide. Why did Tesla choose to increase the size of the Cybertruck tires? There are several possible reasons. One is that larger tires can improve the off-road performance of the vehicle as they can provide more ground clearance, better shock absorption, and greater traction on uneven terrain. Another is that larger tires can enhance the aesthetic appeal of the vehicle as they can create a more aggressive and imposing look that matches the Cybertruck's angular and futuristic design. Another striking feature of the Cybertruck tires is their shape. Unlike most of the conventional pickup truck tires that have a round or oval cross-section, the Cybertruck tires have a more square or rectangular cross-section. This can be seen in some of the photos and videos of the release candidate. There are several possible reasons Tesla would adopt a more square-shaped tire for the Cybertruck. One is that square-shaped tires can fit better with the Cybertruck's geometric and minimalist design language, creating a more cohesive and harmonious appearance. Another is that square-shaped tires can offer more contact area with the road surface, which can improve traction and stability. However, square-shaped tires also have some drawbacks. One is that they can create more noise and vibration when driving on smooth or paved roads, as they can generate more friction and turbulence. Then, there is the tire tread. The tread is the pattern of grooves and blocks on the surface of a tire that provides grip and traction in different road conditions. The tread design can vary depending on the intended use and performance of a tire. The Cybertruck tires have a fairly aggressive tread design that resembles an all-terrain or mud-terrain tire. This can be seen in some of the close-up photos of the release candidate. The Cybertruck tires have large and deep grooves that run across their width and circumference, as well as thick and chunky blocks that protrude from their surface. What are the advantages of such an aggressive tread design on the Cybertruck? One is that aggressive tread designs can enhance the off-road performance of a tire as they can provide more grip and traction on loose or slippery surfaces such as dirt, sand, gravel, mud, snow, or ice. 
Another is that aggressive tread designs can match the rugged and adventurous image of a pickup truck, especially one that claims to be better than an F-150. Of course, the tire system is incomplete without the lug nuts. The lug nuts are the fasteners that secure the wheel to the axle of a vehicle. The number and size of lug nuts can vary depending on the type and load capacity of a vehicle. The Cybertruck tires have six lug nuts each, which can be seen in some of the close-up photos of the release candidate. This is more than most of the conventional pickup trucks that have five lug nuts each. Six lug nuts can provide more strength and durability for the wheel, especially when carrying heavy loads or driving on rough terrain. In addition, using six lug nuts can create a more symmetrical and balanced look for the wheel, which can fit with the Cybertruck's aesthetic theme. However, six lug nuts also have some drawbacks. They can increase the weight and complexity of the wheel, which can affect its efficiency and performance. They can also make it more difficult and time-consuming to change or rotate the tires, as they require more tools and effort to remove and install. So, be careful what you wish for. Close to the tires is another feature that affects how comfortable it is to ride in the Cybertruck, the suspension. The suspension system is the part of the vehicle that connects the wheels to the chassis and allows it to adapt to different road conditions. It affects the ride quality, handling, stability, and off-road capability of the vehicle. A good suspension system can make a vehicle more comfortable, agile, and versatile, while a bad one can make it bumpy, sluggish, and limited. The Cybertruck's suspension system is designed to be adaptive, meaning that it can adjust itself automatically or manually to suit the driver's needs. It uses air springs, which are inflatable bags that replace the conventional coil springs or leaf springs. Air springs can change their stiffness and height by varying the air pressure inside them. This allows the Cybertruck to raise and lower its suspension by 4 inches in either direction, giving it easy access to the vault and improving its ground clearance, approach angle, departure angle, and breakover angle for off-roading. The Cybertruck also has self-leveling capabilities, which means that it can maintain a constant ride height regardless of the load or terrain. This helps with stability, traction, and aerodynamics. For example, if the Cybertruck is carrying a heavy load in the vault or towing a trailer, it can level itself to prevent sagging or bottoming out. If the Cybertruck is driving on a highway or a smooth road, it can lower itself to reduce drag and increase efficiency. But how does the Cybertruck's suspension system work in practice? Thanks to a prototype that was left on the side of the road, we got our first close look at its components and configuration. The prototype was found by Wayne, who was smart enough to sneak a camera under the electric pickup truck and share the pictures with Electrek. The pictures reveal some interesting details about the Cybertruck's suspension system that were not previously known. One of the most noticeable features is the anti-roll bar, which is a metal rod that connects the left and right wheels of an axle. The anti-roll bar helps to reduce body roll, which is the tendency of the vehicle to lean to one side when cornering or turning. By resisting this motion, the anti-roll bar improves handling and stability. The Cybertruck has an anti-roll bar on both the front and rear axles, which is not very common for trucks. Most trucks only have an anti-roll bar on the front axle because they need more flexibility on the rear axle for load carrying and off-roading. However, the Cybertruck's air springs can compensate for this by adjusting their stiffness accordingly. Another interesting feature is the actuator, which is a device that converts electrical signals into physical movements. The actuator can modify the damping of the shock absorbers, which are hydraulic cylinders that absorb and dissipate the energy from bumps and vibrations. The damping affects how quickly and smoothly the suspension responds to changes in road conditions. By changing the damping dynamically, the actuator can optimize the ride quality and performance of the Cybertruck for different scenarios. For example, if the Cybertruck is driving on a rough road or uneven terrain, it can increase the damping to reduce bouncing and improve control. If the Cybertruck is driving on a smooth road or a flat surface, it can decrease the damping to increase comfort and efficiency. The pictures also show some differences between the front and rear suspensions of the Cybertruck. The front suspension uses a double wishbone design, which consists of two triangular arms, upper and lower, that connect each wheel to the chassis. The double wishbone design offers good handling and steering characteristics, as well as allowing for more vertical travel of the wheel. The rear suspension uses a multi-link design, which consists of several arms, at least three, that connect each wheel to the chassis. The multi-link design offers good stability and articulation characteristics, as well as allowing for more lateral movement of the wheel. One notable difference between the front and rear suspensions is that they use different materials for their lower arms. The front lower arm is made of cast aluminum, which is lightweight and strong. The rear lower arm is made of welded steel, which is heavier but cheaper. 
This could be because Tesla wanted to save weight and cost on different parts of the vehicle, depending on their importance and visibility. Another notable difference between the front and rear suspensions is that they have different knuckles, or hubs, which are parts that connect the wheel to the suspension. The front knuckle has a large overhang that joins the upper arm, while the rear knuckle has a smaller overhang that does not join the upper arm. This could be because the front knuckle needs more strength and rigidity to withstand the forces from the steering system, while the rear knuckle needs more flexibility and clearance to accommodate the movement of the wheel. The frunk is one of the features you will notice first on the Cybertruck, and thanks to another video, we know what this part of the truck will look like. The Cybertruck frunk is one of the most anticipated features of Tesla's futuristic electric pickup truck. The frunk, short for front trunk, is a storage space under the hood that can be accessed by opening the front fender. The frunk offers extra cargo capacity and security, as well as a convenient place to store items that might otherwise clutter the cabin or the bed. Tesla has been teasing the Cybertruck frunk for a long time, but until recently, we had no idea how big or small it was. The only glimpse we had was from the original unveiling event in 2019, where Elon Musk showed a brief video of a Cybertruck frunk opening and closing. However, the video was dark and blurry, and it did not reveal much about the frunk's dimensions or shape. But now, thanks to a new leaked video from inside Gigafactory Texas, we finally have a clear view of the Cybertruck frunk in all its glory. The video shows several Tesla Cybertrucks lined up inside the plant with their frunks open, revealing a surprisingly spacious and rectangular storage compartment. The video also gives us a better perspective on how the frunk compares to the rest of the vehicle, as well as to other trucks on the market. The Cybertruck frunk looks significantly larger than the frunks of other Tesla models, such as the Model 3 or Model Y. This is expected since the Cybertruck is a much bigger vehicle with a more angular design. The Cybertruck frunk also appears to be deeper than the frunks of other electric trucks, such as the Ford F-150 Lightning or the Rivian R1T. This is likely due to the fact that the Cybertruck has a cab-forward design that maximizes interior space and minimizes front overhang. The Cybertruck frunk is not only big but also versatile and practical. According to some sources, the frunk can fit a standard carry toolbox, which is ideal for workers and DIY enthusiasts who need to store their tools securely and conveniently. The frunk can also be used as a cooler since it has a drain plug at the bottom that allows water to flow out. This makes it perfect for camping trips, tailgating parties, or picnics. This innovative use of space aligns with Tesla's ongoing commitment to providing unique and versatile features to their customers. Building on this commitment to innovation, one feature that many fans of Tesla have been asking about is whether the Cybertruck will have a solar roof. Will the Cybertruck have a solar roof that can add extra range to the battery? And if so, how will it work? And how much will it cost? According to Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, the Cybertruck will have a solar roof option that will add 15 miles of range per day. This means that the truck will have solar cells embedded in the retractable tonneau cover that covers the bed of the truck. The solar cells will be connected to a photovoltaic charging system and battery, which in one embodiment may be the vehicle battery that powers the vehicle. When the tonneau cover is deployed to cover the bed and the solar cells are facing the sun, the battery within the electric vehicle can be charged by the solar cells. This sounds like a great idea, especially for people who live in sunny areas or who want to use the truck for camping or off-grid adventures. Imagine being able to park your truck in a remote location and have it generate its own power without relying on any external sources. You could also save money on electricity bills by using the solar roof to supplement your daily driving needs. But how realistic is this feature? And is it worth the extra cost? There are some challenges and limitations that come with adding solar to electric vehicles. First of all, solar cell efficiency is not very high, and it depends on many factors, such as weather, angle, dust, and shade. A typical solar panel has an efficiency of around 20%, which means that only 20% of the sunlight that hits it is converted into electricity. The rest is wasted as heat or reflected back into the atmosphere. Secondly, solar panels are not very cheap and they add weight and complexity to the vehicle. A 400W solar panel is roughly a square yard in area and it costs around $200. It also weighs about 20 pounds, which adds to the already heavy weight of the Cybertruck. Moreover, adding solar panels requires additional wiring, inverters, and controllers to connect them to the battery and regulate the voltage and current. Thirdly, solar panels only work when they are exposed to sunlight, which means that they are useless at night or on cloudy or rainy days. They also need to be cleaned regularly to remove dust and dirt that can reduce their performance, and they are susceptible to damage from hail, rocks, or vandalism. So, how much range can you actually expect from a solar roof on a Cybertruck? And how much will it cost? 
According to Musk, the solar roof option will add 15 miles of range per day. This is based on the assumption that the truck will receive an average of 5 hours of peak sunlight per day, which may vary depending on your location and season. It also assumes that the tonneau cover will have an area of about 6 square meters, which is roughly equivalent to 4 standard solar panels. Using these numbers, we can estimate the solar roof's power output at about 1.2 kilowatts, which is the result of multiplying 6 square meters by 200 watts per square meter. This means that it will generate approximately 6 kilowatt hours of electricity per day based on 5 hours of use. Now, let's consider the Cybertruck with a battery capacity of 200 kilowatt hours and a range of 500 miles. In this context, each kilowatt hour of electricity will add 2.5 miles of range. Therefore, the 6 kilowatt hours of electricity generated by the solar roof will add an impressive 15 miles of range to the vehicle. This is not a bad deal, considering that you get free and clean energy from the sun. However, it is not very significant compared to the total range of the truck. It would take about 33 days of full sun exposure to charge the battery from empty to full using only the solar roof. And if you drive more than 15 miles per day, you will still need to plug in your truck to an external source. The cost of the solar roof option is not yet known, but we can make some guesses based on similar products in the market. For example, Toyota offers a solar roof option for its Prius Prime plug-in hybrid car, which costs $2,200 and adds about 2 miles of range per day. If we scale this up to match Tesla's claim of 15 miles per day, we get a cost of $16,500 for the solar roof option. This is quite expensive, considering that it represents about 10% of the base price of the Cybertruck, which stands at $39,900. Of course, Tesla may be able to offer a lower price for its solar roof option since it has its own expertise in solar technology and manufacturing. Tesla also filed for a patent that shows the solar cells will be embedded inside the retractable tonneau cover, which may reduce the weight and complexity of the system. And Tesla may offer other benefits for the solar roof option, such as increased durability, aesthetics, or functionality. Ultimately, the decision to buy the solar roof option for the Cybertruck will depend on your personal preferences and needs. If you are a fan of renewable energy and want to reduce your carbon footprint, you may find the solar roof option appealing. If you live in a sunny area and want to use the truck for camping or off-grid adventures, you may find the solar roof option useful. And if you have extra money to spend and want to have a unique feature on your truck, you may find the solar roof option cool. But if you are looking for a practical and economical way to increase your range and save money on electricity, you may be better off skipping the solar roof option and investing in a larger battery pack or a faster charger. The solar roof option is not a deal breaker for the Cybertruck, but it is not a game changer either. It is a nice-to-have feature that may appeal to some customers, but it is not essential for the success of the truck. What do you think? Do you want the Cybertruck to have a solar roof option? And if so, how much are you willing to pay for it? Let us know in the comments section below.